All right, today I thought we'd talk a little bit about gear. I have a box that basically stays in the back all the time. It's got a lot of good gear in it, a uh, multi-purpose type thing. Um, take a look at some of this stuff. First of all, got to have a good set of jumper cables. So there's not much to say about jumper cables. You know the drill. So anyway, uh, I've got some rain gear. You know, I've got slip-on rain pants and a rain jacket. You know when you have to change a tire on the side of the road. You need some rain gear to deal with that stuff if it's raining. An Oontz USB uh, rechargeable speaker. I carry this thing around. I use it at the house. I use it when we go camping. That's actually a really great speaker. I don't know if they still make that exact model, but the battery lasts like 20 hours. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, I have this, uh, this little light device lantern rechargeable with usb it's uh it's got magnets on it it's waterproof so it does flashlight and then it's got a lantern mode you know amber light to keep bugs away and then it does this sort of weird flashy deal i don't know why but um, i don't think you could you should try pulling anybody over with that so yeah you can take that cap off there and uh get to the uh, charging port and it actually has uh, it acts as a battery bank too so you have a USB slot that you can plug into charge your phone or a tablet or whatever if you start to you know, run out of juice while you're camping <clears throat> so you know just kind of basic stuff uh, streamlight lantern I really like this siege lantern um, it works great it's got a red setting as well and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Battery seemed to last a long time on it. You can hang it up. It's got clips on the top and also on the bottom. So you can hang it different ways. You know, a cheap LED trouble light. If I have to work on the um, vehicle at night or something, it's got a hook and uh, magnets. And you can change the angles of it, aim it different ways. Obviously, you need a pair of work gloves. I've got a snap-on dead blow hammer. Um, let's see, let's make some room here. This I bought at the Rooftop Tent Rally last year in 2019 from Blue Ridge Overland Gear, tool roll. These, uh, each of these individual bags are Velcro, so you can add bags to this. So, there's other crap in here too. It's a fuel nozzle for a uh, five gallon fuel tank box of sockets and ratchets i've got uh, obviously we need some disinfecting wipes in the covid times that we're living in right now uh, can of fix a flat never know when you might need that for a minor leak a ratchet tie down strap assorted zip ties let's see what else do we got oh yeah uh, a few carabiners here some heavy duty ones. Uh, these two things I really like, actually. These are great. So these collapsible buckets are pretty cool. I use this one for just a uh, miscellaneous stuff, mostly for a trash bucket. Use it for a trash bucket around camp, throw a trash bag in it or whatever. And um, it's pretty handy for that. Collapses easy enough. It doesn't take up much space. And this one is meant to be a uh, like, like a sink for doing dishes or whatever. I haven't actually used it for that yet, but uh, I do like both of these. They're really handy to have. I have this tire repair kit, which uh, actually a pretty good deal on Amazon. Uh, I haven't used this kit yet. I have used other tire repair kits when I was out driving about, pick up a nail or something. This is a better kit than anything I've had before. Came with a lot of, I mean, a lot of plugs and uh, all the right tools for the job. Um, extra valve stems and a tread depth gauge, and a razor knife and spare parts, cores, caps, a tool, some glue. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Pretty neat kit, seems uh, to be pretty pretty well made. 
And of course we have a hatchet. And maybe one of the coolest things I've bought in a while is this uh, Agawa Canyon. So this is a saw that is really cool. So this Agawa Canyon saw came with two blades. I ordered, I ordered the uh, kit that came with an extra blade. And I was really kind of amazed at just how nice it worked. Serious saw, man. This thing is really rigid, and the blade is uh, extremely sharp. It'll go through wood really quick. I mean, it, it makes short work and stuff. So I've got another box here that I like to carry in the back of the Forerunner, and um, it's kind of a toiletries box. Just uh, basic items you might need. I think it's always good to have this kind of stuff around anyway. But um, got. Uh, Plastic bag in here, I keep uh, some paper towels. A roll of, it's flat and rolled, but <clears throat> there's some paper towels. I could probably need to replace that one. A roll of toilet paper. You uh, actually, two rolls of toilet paper. So you can't beat having that around. Some uh, spare bags for trash. So this is a, just a Cabela's ammo box. Uh, we've got, let's see, what all do we have here? So we've got some insect repellent, sunblock is a good thing to have some kids sunblock. And this, which may be the best sunblock I've ever tried. And then I started keeping these dude wipes handy. And uh, the dude wipes on the go shower. So these, uh, all these things. Yeah, that stuff's really handy to have um, for clean, you know, hygiene and stuff like that you know obviously you want to stay clean you want to keep your hands clean when you're doing stuff around camp like cooking or whatever we keep uh, some sanitizer around also so anyway here's some uh, some so some fire starting plugs and a uh, magnesium block and a striker to get some sparks I usually keep a lighter in the car too but uh, you know you never know when you might have to have one of these things these will work even when they're wet and some first aid stuff. You know, some gauze, some scissors. Oh, more sunscreen, how about that? Some peroxide, some tape, rubber gloves, you know, bandages, different things are in here. Um, I need to get uh, a tourniquet, really. That's another thing I'm gonna add to the list. So that's a quick rundown of everything in my uh, daily use truck box.